Hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, good evening. Good, good evening, evening, teacher. How are you, everyone? Good evening, teacher. It's good to see you all. Evening, How are teacher. you? Good, good evening, good evening. Okay, uh, it's good to see you. How are you today? I'm pretty good, teacher. Oh, nice. Nice to hear about you, Diana. How are you, um, Herbert? <laughs> Herbert, are you there, Herbert? Hi, teacher. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Amilcar, how are you, Amilcar? So good, teacher. Nice, nice. Very nice. How about you, Luis Arquimedes? Thank you. How are you? How are you, Arquimedes? Luis Arquimedes? Fine. Nice. Good. I'm I'm good. Thank you. Thank you for asking. How about you, Patricia? How was your day, Patricia? Ah, well, I am uh, studying the uh, La Ley Nacer con Cariño. <laughs> oh, and then I, uh, I, what do you what do you do? What? What do you do? Mm -hmm. Oh, um I am a doctor. Ah, okay. I am mm -hmm. um, in training about the lake. Mm -hmm. Oh, the, okay. So, um, okay, maybe I might teach you a new word today. Law. Law means a uh, lay. Law. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, law. Say it with me. Law. 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 No, no, no. Uh, you say, because if you say love, it sounds like love. It's like law. Law. Lo. Yes. Law. Okay. Uh, good evening, Evelyn. Good evening. Uh, is that Gracinha, Eddie? Gracinha. Good evening, coach. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Amilcar. Good evening. Uh, Ailey. Okay. I, I, I think I had new students today, right? Did you have any students? Yes. Yes? Uh, okay. Can you introduce yourself? Okay. Uh, my name is Gracia. Mm -hmm. And I love the, the first class, but I have a meeting in my work. But oh. today. Okay. No, but it's good to see you. Uh, it's good to see you, Edith. <laughs> um, Thank you. Thank you for being I right thought, here. Hmm? I, I saw the 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 recording. Hmm? La grabación. The two class. Oh, okay. No, but thank you. Thank you for being but... um for being here. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Uh, welcome, Rosa Luz. How are you, Rosa Luz? Okay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Edith. Mm -hmm. Lily, what are you doing, Lily? I'm working right now. Oh. But uh, a little moment, I finish. All right. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so thank you. I really, really appreciate. I know many of you are working now. Many of you are at home. But I really appreciate that you are, that you are still busy, but then you are right here. Okay, uh, one more time. Well, I know um, last week we had only two days, right? We had two days only. We had Thursday and Friday, right? So this week, um, this week uh, we are going to be from Monday to Thursday, no Friday, okay? Yay! <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. Okay, no Friday uh, this week. Okay, no Friday, no Friday this week. Yes. Okay, so it's good to see you all. Okay, so I think uh, we have an assignment, right? Homework. Do we have homework? Yes. Okay, okay, good. Okay, let me share my screen. Okay, and we are going to start right away. Tun, 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 tun. Can you see my screen? Yes. Right, Ritz. 
Yes. yes. Okay, good. Yes. So welcome, welcome one more time to the English class. Welcome to the intermediate two. Uh, the topic that we are going to work on today, it's about how to uh, request some polite requests. <laughs> I know it sounds like, what, really? Yes, so the topic is polite requests. Like, for example, how we can ask people to do something uh, something that we want them to do, but in a polite way. So that's what we're going to be doing today. All right. I hope uh, you are ready. I hope you come ready to this class so that we can have a lot of fun. And of course, we are going to learn. This is the agenda that I have for you all today. The introduction. We're going to review previous learning and we're going to have a warm up activity. And then we are going to. Um, requests. We're going to work on a request. Basically, I'm going to be introducing the topic, informal and polite requests. And lastly, we're going to have a practice activity and finally, a wrap-up activity. Okay, what is the main objective? What, are, what we want, what I want you to achieve at the end of the class? A student will be able to practice. What are you going to practice? Oh, you are going to practice the language making informal and polite requests, <clears throat> okay? That's what we're gonna be doing today. All right, so to review previous learning or to review something, uh, I remember that I asked you for um, an assignment, right? Do you remember what was the assignment about? Mm -hmm. What is What's... the meaning assignment? Oh, assignment, good. Assignment is another way to say homework, okay? Okay, thank you, okay. I got okay. it. Okay, good. The only thing, okay, maybe this you didn't know, pero homework, I cannot count homework, okay? Do you know that homework is uncountable? En español nosotros decimos, ¿verdad? Una tarea, dos tareas, tres tareas, cuatro tareas. In English, no. In English, we cannot say one homework, two homeworks, uh, three homeworks. Uh -uh. We cannot say that, okay? Si ustedes solían decir, oh, teacher, I have two homeworks. No, okay? No, but you can say, oh, teacher, I have two homework. assignments. To assignments. assignments. Okay, let me type it here. Assignment. See? See? Assignments. All right? Okay, so just keep it in mind. Como decimos nosotros, agárralo y écheselo a la bolsa, okay? Remember, homeworks? No, we cannot say homeworks. Okay? All right. So can, can, can you tell me or can you help me to remember what was the homework about? What was it about? The homework? We have to do some <coughs> sentences using uh, phrasal verbs mm -hmm. that good. we saw last class. Okay, good. Okay, so to start, I would like you to type three sentences, porque como ustedes me escribieron varias oraciones, I want you to type it in the chat. Three sentences. Solo copia and pega de las que tienen ahí en el chat. Okay? Go and type in the chat three sentences that you did. Mm -hmm. Lo escribieron en papel, ¿verdad? So what I want you to do is type it. Okay? Digítenlo en el chat. Mm -hmm. Teacher, en yes. el chat de la reunión aquí de Zoom. Uh, o here, en el chat yes. De nuestro... Chat here. Chat here. And Zoom. Mm -hmm. Good question. Oh, welcome, Roberto. I didn't see you here. Welcome, Roberto Adonai. Let me see. Welcome, Dina Contreras. Thanks, thanks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I clean up my shoes every day. Okay, good.
Okay, good. My sister hang up the jacket. Good. My sister picks up the magazine. Good. Good job. Good. Let me see the other one, the other examples. Um, could you please clean up the room? Good, good example. Okay, boys, put put away, I guess. Okay. My mother is cleaning up the groceries. Good, good, very good. Excellent. Okay, keep typing, keep typing. Could you clean up the mess, please? Awesome, thank you. Good example. Okay, let me see. Patricia Herrera says, make sure. Okay, let me see. Amilcar, please clean up the mess now. Good. She puts away, okay, good. She puts away the towels in the closet, good. Turn off the microwave, good. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Could you hang Mary. up on your coat? Could you? Good. Could you? Good. Mm -hmm. Boys, put away your books. Good. Thank you, Luis. Uh, let me see. Thank you. Let me see another example. Good. Estoy viendo que las oraciones están muy excelentes. Good, good. Okay, let me see. Dina Contreras, could you turn off the TV, please? Nice, good. Okay, good. Okay. Okay, good. All right. Okay, so let me see. Clean up, Mary. When you have finished your homework, please turn off your laptop. Good, that's a good example. Let me see, Mary. Yes, yes, good, good. Okay, let me see. Clean up the car to make it look nice. Good. Put away the food in the fridge. Good. Throw out the garbage in the dump. Good, good. Okay, so thank you so much. Thank you for sharing your sentences with me and your classmates. Okay, so if you see right here, I have a picture. Pueden ver la foto? Pueden ver la foto acá? La que tengo aquí en la pantalla? Yes? Yeah. Okay, so can you tell me what, what I can clean up? ¿Qué puedo clean up? From this one, I had the garbage, the grocery, the magazine, the mess, the microwave, the towels, your coats, your laptop. What can I clean up? Everything. <laughs> Everything? Okay. What do you say? The mess. Oh, clean up the yeah. mess. Good. What about <clears throat> hang up? Hang up. Uh, the, the, the towel. towel. The towels. Good. The towels. The towels. Awesome. Uh, what about pick coke. up? Pick up. Pick up. The magazines. The magazines. The, magazines. the groceries. The groceries. The groceries. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. What about put uh, away? What about put teacher, away? Uh, I believe that the garbage too because we can yeah. hang up the the the, 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 the garbage the bag, bag or garbage. Yes, you can pick up the garbage, you can pick up the groceries, the garbage, you um, can pick the up the magazines, magazines, you can pick uh, up the towels, you can pick the up the, your coat, you can pick you up can the laptop. Up. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can pick it up. You can pick it up that. Okay, good. Yeah. What about put away? Put away. What about put away? Put away. What's the meaning of put away? The, put away? Laptop. the garbage, yeah. the laptop. The what else? laptop. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, what about take out? Take out. Take out. Take out. Take out. Mm -hmm. the, garbage. Take out the garbage. The garbage, good. What else? What else? The mess. Oh, the mess. Well, okay. What about throw out? Mm -hmm. Throw out. The garbage. The garbage. The garbage. Okay. Probably you didn't know that, but throw out also means vomit. Vomit. Oh. <laughs> Maybe you didn't know that, but okay, se lo voy a, es algo que les voy a enseñar hoy. Throw out means vomit as well. Vomit. Mm -hmm. 
Vomito. Mm -hmm. mm, the verb. Vomit. Imagine you hang, you had a hangover. What is a hangover? What is hangover? Hangover. Yes. What is that? No, yeah. no, no. Imagine you drink too much. You went to a party on the weekend and then you drank too much. So the next day, no, the next day you have a hangover. Yes, hangover. Okay, when you have a hangover, you throw out. You throw out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so vomit means throw, throw out. Okay, pero también throw out significa tirar, botar, uh, botar, cualquier, así como tirar a lo largo. Uh -huh. Ajá. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, what about turn off? What can I, what can I turn off? Turn off is uh, the, the TV. The, mm -hmm. your laptop. the radio the radio the tv good good okay what about turn on uh, to the radio and tv okay. the laptop okay. the microwave microwave yes the, the microwave the laptop good okay awesome thank you so much okay let's continue the microwave all right so think about what's your oh, okay let's do the warm-up activity What's your favorite hobby? Vamos en el chat. Can you type your favorite hobby, please? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite hobby? What's your favorite hobby? Okay, my favorite hobby. okay, can you type in the chat? Uh, type in the chat your Saturday. favorite hobby. Okay, uh, solo, solo, Zoom. okay, please listen uh, to me. Listen, listen to, to me. Listen to me, please. Okay, go to the chat and type my favorite hobby is and type it. Okay, thank you. Let me see. Okay, Roberto Adonai says my favorite hobby is play football. Good. Okay, continue, continue. Okay. Okay. Tengo a 12, necesito tener 12 hobbies in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Only Roberto has um, type it. Okay, Patricia, my favorite hobby is, is playing chess. Okay, Patricia, playing oh, chess. Okay. Dina Contreras, my, my favorite hobby is swimming. Swimming, ming, ming. Ailey, my favorite hobby is dance. Okay, nice. Vamos a ver quién más. Favorite hobby. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see, Patricia. My favorite hobby is play, playing, playing, play, play. <laughs> Luis Alquimide, oh. my favorite hobby is to play basketball and ride a bike. Good. Edit, my favorite hobby is watch TV and listen to music. Good. Okay, my favorite hobby is to hear the music, listen to music. Okay, my favorite hobby is listening to music. Good. My favorite hobby is listen, is make edits. Oh, nice, Herbert. Okay, good. Okay, do you want to know what my favorite hobby is? Do you know? Do you know what my favorite hobby is? <clears throat> okay. No. Mm. Uh, I believe your favorite hobby is uh, teach English. Basketball. Well, Basketball. my favorite hobby is running. <laughs> wow. Ah, running. running. Okay. Excellent. Running. Okay. So what are we going to do right now? Okay. Ahorita vamos a hacer uh, con su hobby. Como ustedes me dijeron, ¿cuál es su favorite hobby? Uh, you look very thin. Okay, yes, uh, thank you. Um, um, since you, I already know your favorite hobby, 
Si ven acá, we are going to introduce ourselves. Nos vamos a presentar, pero en vez de su nombre, por ejemplo, my name is Pedro. Voy a decir aquí, my favorite hobby, ¿ok? In my case, it's running, right? So, yo voy a decir, my name is Pedro running. I live in running. I am running years old. I work in running. Okay? <laughs> okay? One more time. See, listen what I'm going to do. My name is Pedro running. I live in running. I am running years old and I work in running. Mm. Okay? Ahora quiero que hagan lo mismo con su favorite hobby. Anótenlo en un papelito y luego vamos a leerlo con todos sus compañeros. Okay? Okay. No lo escribimos. Um, yes, uh, en, puede ser en un pedito de en papel. El chat. Eh, puede ser en, el, en un pedito de papel porque después lo voy a poner que ustedes lo lean. O digamos, ok, Patricia, tell me, read it. Can you tell me uh, everything about your favorite hobby? My name is, y va a sustituir todo lo que hay aquí, ok? Patricia. Uh -huh. My name is Patricia Chess. Uh -huh. I live in chess. I am chess year old. Year, year old. I work in chess. Okay, good. <laughs> Who else? Uh, otro otro raro, voluntario. Sí. Yes, another volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Edith. Mm -hmm. um, my name is Gracina Listen to Music. Mm -hmm. I, I live in Listen to Music. Mm -hmm. I am Listen to Music. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're so and I work in listen to music. Nice, good. Who else? And then another volunteer. Mm -hmm. Name is Luis okay. Basketball. Go ahead, Luis Arquimedes. Go ahead. I live in basketball. I am basketball years old. And I work in, in basketball. Nice, good. Thank you. Someone else? Another volunteer? Okay, go ahead, Adonai. My name is Roberto playing football. <laughs> I live in playing football. I am playing football years old and I work in playing football. Nice, good, good. Okay, thank you, Roberto. Someone else? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Dina. Mm -hmm. My name is uh, Dina Dems. I live uh -huh. in Dems. I am Dems years. I work in Dems. Good, thank you, Dina. Someone else? Thank you, Aileen. Thank you. I see you that you want to participate, Aileen. Aileen Michelle. <laughs> My name is Michelle Dance. I live oh. in dance. I am dance your all. I work in dance. Thank you. Okay, another volunteer. Quien quiere participar? Yes, yes, My go ahead. Mm -hmm. My name is Amilcar English. I live in Mexicanos. I am for Nyers all. No, 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 you gotta say, uh, I live in uh, English, I, I am English years old, I work in English. Tiene que sustituir toda la información personal con su favorite hobby. Ah, uh, everything? Okay. Yeah, every everything. Okay, uh, my name is, my name is... Uh, Amilcar English. Amilcar English, I live in... English. Really? Mm -hmm. I am I am American English. Mm -hmm. no, I, I English. work in English. <laughs> okay, good. One more. Really? Okay, otro voluntario, okay? Otro voluntario? Another volunteer? Another volunteer? Okay. So it seems like I don't have another <laughs> no more volunteers. All right? Let's move on. Uh, thank you for participating. This was just a game. It was a crazy game, okay? All right? Okay, good. Mm, let's move on. Okay. Can you tell me, can you tell me some example of requests that you do in a regular day? For example, one of my, re my requests that I keep doing all the time in my office is, can you turn down the AC, please? That's one of my requests that I that I do every day. Can you turn down the AC, please? 
Ok, ¿me pueden decir algunos? Ok, para, para comenzar, ¿qué es un request? ¿Qué significa en español request? Solicitud. ¿Mm? Solicitud. Una solicitud. solicitud. Ajá. Algo que ustedes piden, algo que ustedes demandan. Ajá. That's a request. Algo que ustedes requiere. Ok, good. Now that we know what request is, so I want to hear or I want to read some of your what? Some of your, some of the example of the request that you do in a regular day. Mm -hmm. It could be to your mom. It could be to your dad, to your friends, to your coworkers, to your colleagues, or to your boss. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alguien quiere decirme un uh, reasonable um, request? In the chat. It could be in the chat. Yeah, in the chat. Vamos a ver. Okay. En el chat. Todos en el chat escribamos un request that you do. Algo que ustedes preguntan o, o le piden a alguien o que lo haga por ustedes. Okay, let me see. Okay, I can see uh, uh, Graciña Edith uh, says, can you help me in the kitchen, <laughs> please? Okay. Can you help me with my headache, please? Okay, good example. Okay. Remember E? Okay, remember E? Oh, let me see Amilcar Escobar. Could you close the door, please? Uh-huh. An example in my job. Can you sign the documents, please? Good, good example. Mm -hmm. Okay, vamos a ver qué otro request you do in a very um, singular day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. I'm waiting. Mm -hmm. Who else? Mm -hmm. Somebody else? Okay, okay, let me see. Remember, be, be gentle with them. Okay, okay, let me see, Patricia. Can you answer your phone, please? Good. Dina Contreras, can you help me, please? Remember, be gentle with them, please. Okay. Okay, good, good. Okay. Okay. Could you tell me the time, please? Good. Let me see, Rosa. Can you send me the sales data? Good, good, very good. Okay, as you could see, those are some example of what? Some example of requests. But do you know that the following? Okay, if you see, these are some examples that sometimes we do, some, some requests that we do. For example, could you please tell me the next time you have a party? <laughs> Imagine you live in a neighborhood, all right? And then you say, could you please tell me the next time you have a party? Okay, good. Next, number two, can you turn the music down, please? Okay, look, I say, I think the number two, we say it all the time. Can you turn down the music? Hey, por favor, vale, volumen a la música. We say that, right? Can you turn the music down, please? Number two. Number three, let me see. Uh, who wants to read number three for me? Number three, who wants to read number three for me? Number three? Read. Okay, good, good. Mm -hmm. Can you would read you it? Mind, mm -hmm. Would you mind closing the door behind you and making sure it locks? Good, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, number four. Who wants to read number four? Number four? Me, teacher. Me okay, teacher. go ahead. Go ahead, Patricia. Would you please tell your guest to use the visitor parking space? Good, thank you. Number five. Who wants to read number five? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Amilcar. Would you mind not 
not putting your garbage in in the hallway, please? Oh, okay, good. Okay, so what do you think to all these requests? What do you think are the answers? What are the answers to those requests? For example, number one, could you please tell me the next time you have a party? Teacher. Yes. What's the meaning of would you mind? Oh, good, good question. Okay. Good question. Just give me a second, Roberto, and then I'm going to explain the meaning of would you mind? Okay. Okay. Would you mind means te importaría. Te importaría. Would you mind? Would you mind? Would you mind? Would you mind? Okay. Would, see? Would you mind? Mind. Te importaría. Te importaría. Okay? That's the meaning of would you mind. All right? So the first one, could you please tell me the next time you have a party? A, B, C, D, or E. What do you think? I believe it's E. Letter E. Let me see. Yes. Uh, it's not very pleasant to see. We don't want stranger. The walls are so the sound go through the yes, good. Okay. I like to make I like sure to make sure I'm not, I'm not at home. home. <laughs> okay. Number two, can you turn the music down, please? I believe is a uh, letter C. Letter? Letter C. Yes, letter C. Good. Would you words, mind really closing the door behind you and making sure it locks? A, B, or D? B. B. B, good. B. And would you please tell your guests to use the visitor parking space? D. What is it? D. 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 Yes. D. Okay. Yes. And number five, would you mind not putting your garbage in the hallway? Hey. Hey. Hey, okay, hey. good. All right. Okay, vamos a, a ahora see now that you have that we had the introduction. Okay, let's work on the activity. All right. Let me see. Okay. When we ask for requests, when we ask for requests, there are two different ways to ask requests. For example, we have one way request for people we know well. A request, for example, you know, when you are talking to your daughter or your son or your friend, we don't usually say, please, could you please? No decimos así, ¿verdad? Decimos, mira, por favor, ¿te gustaría apagar la cocina? O por favor, ¿te gustaría cerrar la puerta? We don't say that, right? Right? Because we are talking to people that we know well. We just go to the point. Look at this example. Please turn the stereo off. Apaga ese stereo. Okay? Pero what happens when we want to ask requests to people that we don't know? Look. When we want to have some polite requests, we need what? Can could and would. Can you turn the music down? Okay. <clears throat> Ahorita nos vamos a enfocar solamente en esto, okay? Just pay attention to this one, okay? Okay, see? <clears throat> Look at this example. Can you turn the music down? Could you close the door, please? Would you please take your garbage out? <coughs> okay, give me a second. Okay, give me a second. <clears throat> okay, give me a second. I'm going to get some water, okay? Give me a second, please.
Okay, I'm sorry, I'm back. I just want to get some water. Okay, mm -hmm. so we were saying, <clears throat> we were saying that we can use when we want to request modem. I mean, when we request any request, by the way, we can use can, could, and would. Okay, repeat with me, would, 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 would. would. Ok, Good. solo imagínense, solo imagínense que, que esta palabra would no tiene, no tiene la palabra, la letra L y van a tener la pronunciación perfecta. Solo imagínense que esta palabra would no tiene la letra L y la pronunciamos would. Would. Yes, good, would. Ok, good, good, good. Good, good. good, good. Okay, good. Yes. Okay. So if we use can, yes, we can say can, right? For example, can you open the door? But <clears throat> if we want to use could, podemos utilizar could y utilizamos would as well. So you can say, well, okay, so teacher Basket or teacher Pedro, so which one do I use? Do I use can? Do I use could? Or do I use would? Okay, good question. Este es, digamos, medio formal. Okay, medio formal. Ya me molesté. Este es formal. Este es muy formal. Sí. So, can you get it now? For example, if you use can, that's okay. But then, if you use could, wow. But if you use would, it's like fantastic, okay? The more, uh, if you use would, that is more polite, it's más cortés, okay? Más cortés. Si usted utiliza can, well, can, it's okay. Está bien, pero no es tan cortés como que si utilizara la palabra would, okay? For example, look at this example that I'm going to type here. Look at the chat. Si alguien le dijera, si alguien le dijera en español, ¿me puedes abrir la puerta, por favor? ¿Cómo entendería si alguien le dice, me puedes abrir la puerta? ¿A que le gustaría abrirme la puerta, por favor? ¿Sí? Imagínense que si yo dijera esta palabra así. Ok. Ok. Can you open the door, please? That one is very simple. ¿Me puedes abrir la puerta, por favor? Pero si yo digo, uh, mm -hmm. si yo dijera, would, would you open the door? Would you open the door? Es como, ¿te gustaría o podrías? ¿Ok? ¿Te gust Pero es más amable, ¿ok? So, what I want you to know is that if we use can, it's polite. But if we use would, it's wow. Okay? okay. All right, good. Let's move on. Do you have any question? Tienen alguna pregunta? Ahorita solo nos estamos enfocando en can, could, and would. Okay, later I'm going to explain would. Would you mind? Okay? Any question? Is there any question? Teacher. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Entonces, can you is... Puedes... Hi. Could you is, eh, Podría. Podrías y mm -hmm. would you sería, ¿te gustaría? Te gustaría. Mm -hmm. O tomarías. Mm -hmm. O tomarías o beberías, dependiendo del verbo. En this case, uh, would you please take, ahí sería tomarías. Would you please take your garbage out? Sacaría, bueno, en take out es la expresión, entonces sería sacarías. Mm -hmm. Pero no sacaría Ferreira, right? <laughs> okay. When we have requests for neighbors or strangers, we use more polite and we may use modal. Look, modas can become, uh, can be more formal. For example, we have can, could, and would. Recuerden, would is más formal. That is more formal. Okay? Also, there is a good thing. We can use please. So, ¿a dónde vamos a utilizar la palabra please? 
We may add the word please at the end of the request when we're using could. Vamos a ver. Let me type an example. Could you, could you turn down the music, please? See, look at the chat. Could you turn down the music, please? Down the music, please. Uh -huh. Could you, um, could you hang up your coat, please? See? Look at the example, see? Could you hang up your coat, please? Your coat, please. Ahora, quiero que me digan una oración ustedes. Tell me a sentence using could. Y con la expresión please at the end. Ahí le di el ejemplo, ya le di dos ejemplos. Uh -huh. Can you tell me one sentence? Uh -huh. En el chat, teacher. Yeah, it could be in the chat or you can open your microphone. Could, could I have a piece of chicken, please? <laughs> yeah, sure. Take it, take it. <laughs> Good example. Could, could you wash the dishes, please? I'm hungry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ahorita estamos con could, could. Okay, let me see, Amilcar. Could you help me to fix my car, please? Good. Could you tell me what is your complete name, please? Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Good example. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see, Herbert. Could you repeat? Could you repeat that to me, please? Could you repeat that to me, please? Good, Herbert. Good. Let me see, Michelle. Could you hang up my jacket, please? Good. Good. Very good. All right. Let me see. Vamos a esperar los que están typing. Could you take me uh, the temperature, please? Okay. Could you help me with the reports, please? Good. Okay, nice. I can see that you uh, that you understood what I was trying to say, that we can use please at the end. Also, we might add the word please in the middle of the request when using would. Also, we can use would and the word please. Let's continue. Acuérdense. Si tienen alguna duda o hay algo que no está claro, yo me adelanto, me pueden decir, regrese un poquito y explique más, ¿ok? No se queden con la duda, por favor. All right, let's move on. Would you mind? What about would you mind? Let me see, I got a text. Could you turn off the TV, please? Good example, Dina. <clears throat> When we have would you mind, what is the formula? What is the pattern? What is the grammatical uh, formula that we need? We need would plus gerund plus verb plus complement. Okay? For example, uh, when we have a negative, we can say, would you mind? And then the negative, and then gerund plus the complement. Okay, let me explain more about this. Déjeme explicarle un poquito más. Okay? But then I'm going to talk about that later. Okay, what I would like you to do is, since right now we are talking about can, could, and would, I would like you to think about one sentence con can, una oración con could, y una oración con would. Okay? Como les dije anteriormente, lo que estamos tocando ahorita es, let me see, um, This. Eso es lo que estamos viendo ahorita, ¿ok? ¿Ok? Ok. So, think about one sentence with can, one sentence with could, and one sentence with would. ¿Ok? Ahora estamos hablando de esto. Aquí están los ejemplos, miren. Can you turn down the music down? I mean, can you turn the music down? Could you close the door, please? Would you please take, care, take your garbage out? Okay. 
por favor, hágame una oración aquí, ¿ok? Con eso. O oh, si, si no necesitan escribirla, me la pueden decir. Can you? Could you? No hay necesidad que la escriban, pero si la quieren escribir, go ahead. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver, let me see. Mm, no, Patricia. Patricia, listen. Estamos viendo solamente estos aquí. Miren, estos. A I mí, mean, su oración está correcta, solo que estamos tocando estos ahorita, ¿ok? ¿Ok? Sí, su oración está correcta. Would you mind? Eso está correcto. ¿Ok? Pero ahorita solo estamos con can, could, and would. Si ven, aquí es diferente. Look. Uh -huh. El verbo, mire, el verbo no le pasa nada. Would you please take, ok? Ok, thank you, Patricia. Uh -huh. Can you close the door? Good. Can you travel with me, please? Good. Uh -huh. Nice. Uh -huh. Ok. Mm -hmm. Good. Yes. Yes, yes. Um, my sentence are um, can you turn on turn on the lights? Okay, good. Uh, could you open the window, please? Mm -hmm. Good. And would you please put away the books? Good, good. Thank you, Edith. That's a good example. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Let me see in the chat. In the chat, I have Roberto. Roberto says, can you go to the supermarket with me? Good. Could you buy the medicine for your grandmother? Good. Would you turn the AC down? Good. Let me see, Dina, can you help me, please? Good. Let me see another example. I'm looking for your examples. Let me see. Can you travel with me? Could you turn on the lights, please? Good. Uh, would you please take your medicine? Good. Good, good. Mm -hmm. Alguien más? Alguien más? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if, um, if, if it is clear, let's move on. Okay. Okay. Look at the picture. Look at the pictures and tell me. <clears throat> where, where, I mean, you need to match the dialogue with the pictures. Okay, let me see in the chat. Let me see in the chat. Rosa Luz, can you tell me the direction, please? Good. Amilka, would you please give me money? Good, good, good. Okay, look at the picture and look at the dialogues. Mm -hmm. Okay, would you mind helping me? Could you give me a pizza, please? <laughs> Can I borrow your phone? Could you close the door, please? Okay, vamos the first one, la primera. Which one is this? Could you give me a pizza, please? Okay, okay, let me see. Uh, pero vamos con la primera. Would you mind helping me? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh -huh. El primero aquí, would you mind helping me? Which one it is? Is uh, this one or this one? Right or left? The books with oh. the left. Let me see. The right, the right. Yes, the right, good. Okay, what about this one? Could you give me a pizza, please? The left. Left? Left. Let me see. Wait, 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 wait. There you go. Can I borrow your phone? Right or left? Left. Right. Left or right? Right. Left. Left. Mm, vamos a ver right. Right. <laughs> right. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Uh, no, my bad. Oh, my, no, my bad. No. My bad. It's my mistake. Well, my hey. mistake. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's the other way around. 
hmm, computer, you made me feel bad now. Voy, voy a pegarle a la computadora porque es culpa de la computadora. It's not my fault. <laughs> no, it's my fault. Okay? Yes, you're right. Let me fix it now. Hmm. No way. Okay, let me fix it. Okay? Wait, wait, wait. No, no. <laughs> it's like this. There you go. And then I had this one. There I go. Okay? okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for this inconvenience. Okay? No problem. Okay, here we go again. Da, da, da. Okay, now it's better. Now, let's... Ah, can you believe it? Now I give you the answer in here. Uh, okay, my bad. I'm going to change that. May I borrow your pen? And the other one is, could you please give me a balloon? Okay, now, next. Let's go next. Okay. Now I want you to help me to put in the right order. Close with you the door, please. What goes first? Would you? Okay, would you? And then? Please. 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 Close. Close. Would you close the door, please? Close the door, please. Would you close the door, please? Good. Good. Next. Give me, please, a pen. Could you? Could you? Could you, Could you give me a pen? Give me a pen, me a pen please. please. Okay, listen. Le voy a dar otro tips para pronunciación. Okay. Imagina que ustedes están viendo la palabra could, pero okay. sin la L. ¿Cómo sería sin la L? Could. Could. Ajá. Could, no cool. Could. 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 Ajá. could. No cool. Solo vean que no tiene la letra L y could. sería could. 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 Excellent. Good, could. good. Could. Okay. So, what goes first? Could you? Could you? Could you give me a pen, please? A pen, please, a pen. Could you please give me a pen? Awesome. Next. Oh, there is no next. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now, listen. Now we are going to focus on what? Tenemos nueve minutos, okay? In nueve minutos, we are going to work on this one. See? Would you? Uh, creo que fue Roberto quien me preguntó, I think. Me preguntó que qué significaba would you mind, okay? Would you mind means te importaría o le importaría, okay? Would you mind. Ajá, would you mind. Okay, the only thing is that you need to think, I mean, that you need to know is this, okay? Que el verbo después de mind va a ir en qué? En I am G. Would you mind turning the music down? Would you mind closing, ¿sí? Y si es en negativo, pues iría negativo, pero siempre iría ING. ¿Ok? ¿Se acuerdan que el ejemplo que yo les di a rato fue que you um, <coughs> les di el ejemplo um, let me see, can you open the door please? ¿Se acuerdan que ese fue el ejemplo que les di, verdad? Can you open the door please? Uh -huh. Pero ahora, como le estoy pidiendo el favor a alguien que no conozco, voy a utilizar would you mind? Would you mind? Okay. Bueno, ¿está correcta esa oración? ¿Sí o no? Uh -huh. ¿Qué piensan? No, porque oh. no va ¿Por con qué? el ING. Open. Ah, good. Missing ING. Good, good. Ok, sería entonces, would you mind opening the door? Ok, sí. Miren ahora en el chat. Would you mind opening the door? Ok, solo que le voy a pedir un favor. Please, look. Do not get confused entre would you please take y el otro Would you mind? ¿Ok? ¿Sí? Entonces usted me dice, híjole, pero ¿y cómo sé si es el... Eh, ¿Cuándo va a ir en ING y cuándo no? Aquí está, sencillo. La expresión es, uh, ¿te importaría? Would you, you mind? mind? 
would you mind? Would you mind? Every time you see would you mind, significa que el verbo va a ir en qué? En ing. Mm -hmm. Ok, hagamos una oración juntos Gerundio. aquí. Gerundio. Gerundio, correcto. Gerundio. ¿Me pueden ayudar aquí con la primera oración? ¿Cómo haríamos acá? Uh, aquí. Would you mind? Would you mind? Un favor. Would you mind, uh -huh. would you mind helping, helping me? Good. With my would, would you mind helping me? Good. Otro ejemplo. Quiero que piensen en, en el ejemplo que ustedes utilizarían en su trabajo. Would you mind? Would you mind? Mm -hmm. Answering the phone. Mm, answer. Answering. Answering. Good. Answering. Good. Would you mind answering? Nice. Another could, example. Could you, could you mind helping me, please? Could. Mm, well, in this case. ¿Me gustaría ayudarme? Sí, se podría utilizar could, pero uh, quedémonos con would. Okay, would you mind? Okay. Would you mind? Okay, would you mind? Okay, would you mind? 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 Would you mind cooking for everybody? <laughs> would you mind cooking for everybody? No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ahora vamos en negativo. Ahora vamos en negativo. Okay. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? La diferencia es que solo en vez de would you mind, además de would you mind, le agregamos el negativo, ¿sí? Would you mind not? ¿Sí? Would you mind not speaking not aloud, please? Speaking. Ajá. ¿Y cuál sería la traducción? Oh, ¿te importaría? No. Ah, ok. Ok, listen. Algo más. Muy, muy pre excelente pregunta. No solo porque vean el verbo en ING van, a, van a, a traducir como ¿Te importaría cerrando la puerta? No, no, no sería, no sería en ING, cerrando, encendiendo, no, sería ¿Te importaría cerrar? Cerrar, ¿ok? Aún cuando no. vean ING no lo van a traducir como que si fuera en progresivo, ¿ok? Is that kind of clear? Is that clear? Yes, it's yes. clear. Yes, it's okay. clear. Thank okay. You. Listen, ahora hay una situación que maybe I'm going to tell you right now. Listen. In English, if you ask, okay, vamos a escribir en el chat. Voy a escribir en el chat una oración con would you mind. Hmm. Would you mind cooking? Uh, voy a agarrar el ejemplo que mencionó uno de sus compañeros. Would you mind cooking for everybody? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta que ustedes le dieran? Vamos a ver. Would you mind cooking for everybody? Uh -huh. ¿Te importaría cocinar para todos? Uh -huh. yes, yes, I, I would. Oh, yes, I would. Well, in this case, hay una excepción bien grande que si alguien les pregunta, would you mind? Yes, I mind. Ajá. Well, ajá, entonces, responde, si, usted, si, si le responden con no, significa que sí. Uh -huh. I know, it's kind of weird. I know, it's like, really? Yes. For example, if you ask, if somebody asks you, like, would you mind, you know what, ¿te importaría no hablar mucho? Ajá. Uh -huh. Would you mind not speaking aloud? You say, oh, yes, no yes. importa. Ajá. Uh -huh. No, I don't mind. No yes, me importa. Sí. Uh -huh. Or for example, no. look, would you mind closing the door for me? See? I'm sorry, there is a spelling there, misspelling. Would you mind closing the door for me? Oh, so they, oh no, no, no problem. And then you do it. See? No, 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 no problem. You do it. Usted lo hace. Si alguien dice no, oh, significa que no hay ningún problema. Would you mind closing the door for me? Oh, no problem. And then that person do it for you. Or that person does it for you. Okay? But now let's only focus on this one. Is that clear? Would you mind? Y aquí va el verbo en qué? ¿Qué le dije aquí va el verbo acá? Gerundio. Un gerundio. O, o ING. 
Okay. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. Good. 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 Okay. Good. All right. Okay. Uh, I think we yeah we get to the end of the class. Okay. Um, tomorrow we are going to continue working on these exercises, and I think tomorrow we're gonna finish this activity. Okay. So because of the time, yes. Mm -hmm. Um, I have a question um, yes. about the exercise before mm. the last exercise and with who and who. This one? Yes, mm -hmm. this one. Um, you said that uh, when you use who, mm -hmm. uh, the please is at the end it could be it could be at the end or mm -hmm. after that one mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. after could or you me, in the mm -hmm. middle in the middle mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes okay. there are two choices where not you can only, put it not only the not only the, not only the middle yes. you know, the okay time. and what? what is the same the same thing yeah okay oh, um okay. Well, thank you thank you uh i did for asking okay, thank you. okay um I'm going to stop here because I have another group who is waiting for me now. I wish I could continue talking and explaining <laughs> more, but definitely tomorrow, no worries. Tomorrow we're going to continue working on this topic. Okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. So thank, thank you. you. Have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night, everybody. Take care.